Hi everyone, this is Sharon. I'm back today with a sweet and short little video. I just wanted to document a project that I've been working on this past week. This is my entry into Rachel at Roxy Creations uh, birthday challenge. She put a challenge out there for anyone who wanted to enter um, to send her either a tag, a journaling card, a letter, or a journal page, and she's going to compile everything and put it into a keepsake journal, which I think will be really nice for her. So I decided to send her a journal page, and that way I could stuff a few things in there. So what I did um, for the base of my page, I took um, a digital from one of my Etsy kits, and I backed it with some coffee dyed paper, which I'll show you when I get to the inside. But rather than gluing the two pages together, I actually stitched them together with some other pieces. So along the top, I cut a strip of ledger paper and I sewed it to, to the top of this, created a seam and then flipped it over to the inside and then top stitched along the seam up, up there. I also punched out a strip of paper and um, stitched that right into the seam as well. And then on this long edge, I took a piece of actual um actually it's one of rachel's antique letters and again i stitched a seam and then flipped it around to the inside and adhered it to the inside so it just creates a nice little edge along the page on the bottom i did some decorative stitching on coffee dyed paper and then just glued that strip along the bottom i also made a pocket on the front page and that i made out of a piece of sari silk i stitched it to some cardstock and um, trimmed it up with a piece of doily and then in the pocket I created a couple of journaling cards. I used Mrs. Cog's Women of Antiquity for the images. I just love those and I haven't been able to use those yet. And I trimmed them with some lace, put a little knot on the bottom of that one, the little lace there, and I backed them with some embossed card stock. And then I just put a little bit of digital embroidery on there and use some of that same sari silk for the ribbon at the top of the tags. And then as we go on the inside, you can see the how I brought the paper from the front to the inside and I just punched out a decorative edge on there. And then same with the ledger paper. I just punched a decorative edge on that as well and then stitched that down. On the inside of this, um, this is the coffee dyed paper that I made recently. I think it turned out pretty good. I used some doilies um, and it came out pretty clear. I haven't had the greatest success in the past, but this one turned out okay. Um, I put some corner pockets on both pages with Tim Holtz vellum. And then in the pockets, I did some tags out of vintage photographs. And I just did a little bit of stamping on there, put some fabric trim at the top, and then on the back I just put some washi tape. And then on this one, similarly, um, just did a little collaging on there, stamping a fabric tab, and then a little bit of embellishing on the top, or on the back. And then I also included in that pocket a library card and just trimmed it with some ribbon, and then added one of Tracy Fox's labels on the back. Actually, I'll stick those back in there. And then in the center, I um, cut out a file folder. This is Tsunami Rose, and I stitched it onto an index sheet from an atlas just to give it a little more height. And I stitched this whole file folder to the center, and that way when Rachel um, binds her journal she can keep this with this page and then this side of the folder with this page um, in the center I created a couple of pockets I used an antique postcard of mine and trimmed it at the top with some of Gail from cinnamon teas um, trims and inside the pockets I created some um, journaling cards these I also will talk about a little bit later um, new digital kit that I have in my Etsy store but it's got a nice sepia background, and what I did was wrap a little bit of uh, string around this, and then I put a little piece of linen down, and then I put a wax seal on the top of that. And I created some tabs with um, matte paper, 
did some decorative stitching around the outside and then on the back side I backed it with piano paper and then just did a little stamping on there as well. And then on this side, I made a little tag from an old button card and just did a little bit of collaging on there. And then this card is similar to the other one. Again, I did a little wax seal on there and then added the stamp on the back. On the back of the file folder, I did a little bit of collaging again with Tsunami Rose, um, an image of hers, and then a little bit of old lace. And then these cards, again, Tsunami Rose images, and I just kind of ripped the edges, stitched them onto some coffee dyed paper. Actually, it's um, ledger paper. And then on the backs, I um, stamped onto some fabric and glued those on. And then just did a little bit of extra paper trim on there. And then on the last page, I trimmed this up with a piece of antique lace that I had. I just love this lace. It's got, um, it's kind of a grayish blue mixed with the cream, really pretty. And then um, I did the back page similar to the front as far as the embellishments go. And this is a double pocket, um, so I stitched the lace onto a piece of decorative cardstock. And then in the top pockets, I just made some journaling cards with some collaging, decorative stitching from some postcard images. Added some Tracy labels. And then this pocket, I stuck my business card for Rachel and then made another journaling card. In the bottom pocket, I created a little envelope, and this was totally inspired by Susie at Shabby Soul. She did a video a little while back where she did similar envelopes, and I thought I had to try those because I have a lot of this sewing paper, or um, tracing paper, and um, I kind of like the way it turned out. She, and you, you have to check out her video because she's got lots of different variations where she puts lace and decorative cardstock and things underneath the um, tracing paper. I did some decorative um, paper underneath there. And then I did um, a little bit of decorative stitching, added a piece of doily there, and did um, some paper buttons from one of my digital kits because everything was starting to get a little bulky and I didn't want to bulk it up even, a, even more with the buttons, but I thought they added something there. And on the back, I put Tracy label and then it flips open and I add another label there. And then inside, I just have a little note for Rachel. So that is what I will be sending off to her tomorrow. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is a couple of new digital kits that I have in my store. And the first one is um, eight journaling cards. They, this set is, um, these are three and a half by five. They're floral images with some sepia tone background, uh, backgrounds. And then the other four in that same kit um, are three and a quarter by five. And I'll put the links to these kits down below. Um, this one I also put out there recently. Um, these are kind of an Art Nouveau style illustrations, and you would typically see these probably late 1800s, early 1900s. And I just love the colors and the patterns in these. And I set them up on each page so you could use them as um, journaling pages in your journals. So there are eight of these in the kit. There's this one and all of these, the other kit, and this one I just printed on copy paper. So there's that one. This one, this one, and last but not least, I really like this one. So that's it for today, guys. Until next time, bye-bye.